To pull a cable, all we have to do is click on a port and drag it to another. Wow. One of the best features of VCV Rack is that it grays out ports of the same type, so we don't have to worry about plugging inputs into other inputs, or outputs into other outputs. When we hover over the end of a cable, we see the name of the current port, where the other end of the cable is, and the voltage that's running through it. Monophonic cables are skinny, and they've got green lights for positive voltages and red lights for negative ones like we see here. Polyphonic cables are fat, and they have blue lights like these ones that get brighter and dimmer. If we hover over the end of a polyphonic cable, we can see the voltages for each channel. Sometimes we need to pull more than one cable from the same port. We can do this by holding control as we click and then drag from the port. This method is going to stack the cable starting at whatever port you're clicking on. Like here I can stack the cable from this end. Or this end. If we want to stack the cable starting at the other end, we can hold control and shift at the same time before dragging. Here's control. Here's control and shift. To disconnect a cable, we can drag it off the port and let go, or we can hold shift and click on either end. Stacked cables disconnect from top to bottom, so that's going to be the most recent cable on top to the oldest cable at the bottom. If you want to disconnect lower cables in the stack, you're going to have to find the other end, but you can utilize the list to find it. The lowest cable in the stack is going to be at the top of this list, and the highest cable at the bottom. Many folks utilized a cable color coding scheme so that they don't get lost in their own patches, but also so you could share your patches with your friends. A common color scheme is red for audio information, yellow for pitch information, green for modulation, and blue for gates and triggers. By default, the cable color cycles every time you drag one. We can cycle through them to get the colors we want, or we can right click to choose the color before we drag. Some free modules allow us to change the color quickly, and to retain that particular color as we work. My favorite is the Cable Color Key by Inklin. We can assign colors to the number keys on our keyboard, and just hold that number down and drag a cable. When we let that number go, the cable stays that color until we change it. Here's red by holding 1, then yellow by holding 2, green by holding 3, and so on. You may not like the default settings for cable visibility. In the view menu that we talked about in the last video, we can adjust the floppiness of the cables and the cable opacity. If we have an opacity that's lower than the maximum, the cable becomes fully opaque when we hover over the end of it. And this is useful when you're trying to figure out where these suckers go. My preferred settings are 77.7% .7 floppiness. and 44.4% opacity. Let me know what your favorite settings are in the comments. There are tons of free modules available that allow us to do some pretty crazy things with the cables. Firstly, I want to mention Merge and Split from the Stock Collection. These allow you to make polyphonic cables, or to split up a polyphonic cable into its components. We can use this to make chords, or trigger polyphonic rhythms, and many other crazy things. Next up we've got Teleport In and Teleport Out by Little Utils. These let you teleport a signal from one spot to another. And this is great if you don't want cables crossing over modules. We just give Teleport In a name, and then we select it from the Teleport Outs dropdown. We can easily switch between the inputs as well. And the last one I want to mention is Blank by Bisset. This bad boy displays the signals across the cable, and it's really great for some visualization. It gives you access to a scope as well. There are many more cool modules, and I'd like to encourage you to check them all out. Now we know pretty much everything about cables and how to pull them. In the next video, we're going to talk about different modules, what they do, and how we can use them. If you like this video, you might like my other content as well, so check it out because it's all free. Huge shout out to Jorg Holland. Thanks so much for your generous support, I really appreciate it. Shout out to all my other Kofi supporters as well.
Okay, bye-bye.